Hi everyone, welcome to Connection Yoga. I just want to say real quick, yoga is for everyone. However, when online, it is up to the individual to assess whether they are ready or not to participate in the class that they have chosen. If you suffer from specific disease, illness, or injury, or are pregnant, it is important for you to consult with your physician before beginning. The practice of yoga requires that you, the practitioner, need to gauge the safety of your practice within your own personal and physical limitations. I'm not there, I'm not in your body, so I can't. You need to pay attention and act accordingly. It is always better for you to build up slowly rather than force or strain. While you might feel exertion throughout the practice, you should also feel relaxed. While you might feel some discomfort, you should never feel pain. The techniques and suggestions presented in the following content are not intended to substitute for proper medical care. Consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. Connection Yoga assumes no responsibility for injuries suffered while participating in the yoga content. The user assumes all risks. With that, I can't wait to see you on the mat, and I'll see you there. Hi everybody, welcome to Connection Yoga. My name is Kat, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, but I'm super excited. Today we're going to be doing a sort of yin to yang, 50 minute flow. So for those of you who don't know, Yin is relaxation and calmness, and then the yang is the movement and the awakening. So this is a great way to start a day, end a day, any point in time. It is just a slow warm up and building to get the body going. So with that said, you can pull up the playlist for today if you're going to be listening along. Um, or, of course, you can listen to me just speak. Today, you will need your props. If you don't have a block officially, what you can use is you can roll up a blanket, you can roll up sweatshirts, pillows, and use these to support your body in these beginning poses. So, get them on hand and hit pause if you need to get those together. Also, one other thing you might consider is taking an essential oil for something that you would like. Put a few dabs on a cotton towel and you can lay that over your eyes through the beginning parts of this flow. I'm super excited. So, if you are ready, we are going to start on the wall. So, if you need to make a little wall space, go ahead and do that as well. I'm gonna grab my water and bring it closer. All right, so make your way with to where it looks like you would be sitting on the wall with your back laying down. Um, so make your way that way. If you wanna hit the playlist, go ahead and hit play now. Kind of awkward to get up to the wall, but that's okay. Just try and get as close as we can before putting your legs up. This is a great place for a block. I highly suggest putting it or a blanket under your lower lumbar back, horizontal. Right. You can also if you'd like, put a pillow under your head for self control. Put the blanket over top of you. But wiggle as close as you can to the wall. Feet flexed enough. Arms wherever you like. Close your eyes and start to breathe.
Start to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Feel the support of the earth in your low back, on the backs of your hands, on the back of your shoulders, your head. Allow yourself to be supported and let go. Bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly on your back. Open your knees wide. I meant to mention, if you don't have wall space, you can do these poses on the ground and support the front side of your body as you lean over your legs with the props. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go of everything you have to do today to be present for yourself. Breathe in and let it go. Gently open your legs, wide leg stretch on the wall. Keep your feet flexed.
do you feel your breath in your body? Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep focusing on the breath. If a thought comes in, say hi and just send it away. Come back to the breath. Gently close your legs, bend your knees, put your feet on the wall, gently lift yourself to remove the block. Scoot yourself out so that your knees are at a 90 degree bend. Arms to a T. Drop both legs to the right, so prime twist. The hips should be stacked. You can also place the block between your knees if you're finding the sensation intense. Keep breathing, relaxing into the mat.
Bring your knees back to the center. Drop to the left side. Move your props up there in the way. Again, 90 degrees in the bend in the knee and the line of the legs out of the hips with the body. How does the breath feel in the body in this pose? Focus on the breath. Keep breathing, let it fill you up, and let it go. Bring the knees back to the center. If you have a blanket across your chest, go ahead and move it out of the way. <laughs> Be careful. Same as your towel on your eyes. Make your way over onto your seat. Legs out in front, feet flexed. You can also put a pillow here under the back of the legs or a block. Grab another one, or you can just use the support of a block. Forward fold. This is a great place for as many or as little props as you see you need. You should feel supported but engaged. Keep breathing into the back of the legs and let it go.
sit up, remove your blocks, or props. Cross your ankles and make your way to child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Press your palms into the mat and let it go. Allow your sit bones to drive towards your heels. Keep pressing your palms into the mat. Press up to tabletop. Drop your chest cat pose. Press your palms into the mat. Open your chest. scary cat. Press your hands into the mat to get height in your back. Drop your chest, cow pose. Rise, cat. Neutral spine. Press back down dog. Keep pressing your palms into the mat, slight bend in the elbow. right leg up and around your hands, drop your left knee, press your chest forward, dragon. Press your knee into the mat as you press your hips forward.
Keep breathing. Tuck your toes, lift your left knee. Gently bring your right foot back, down dog. Breathe in, let it go. Breathe in, left leg, dragon. Drop your right knee, press your hips and chest forward. Your front knee should not go over your ankle. It is just move it forward a little bit more. Tuck your right toes, lift your knee, down dog. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, high mountain. Forward fold. Halfway lift, down dog. And if you want, you can take a second now to move your mat away from the wall a little bit. High push up, drop your knees to the mat, lower to the mat. Two rounds of cobra, lift up, lower down to your breath. Child's pose. Down dog. Feet to the top of the mat, halfway lift, forward fold, high mountain, open cactus arms, open the chest, close them, forward fold, halfway lift, down dog. High push up. Lower flat to the mat. Stay high on your toes. Keep your elbows in close. Two rounds of Cobra. Child's Pose. Down Dog. Breathe in, let it out. Feet to the top of the mat, halfway lift, forward fold, high mountain. Forward fold, halfway lift, down dog. High push up. Chaturanga, low push up, up dog, down dog. Feet to the top of the mat, halfway lift, forward fold, high mountain, cactus arms, close them, forward fold. Halfway lift, down dog. High push up. Chaturanga, low push up. Up dog, 
down dog. Breathe in, let it out. Feet to the top of the mat. Feet together, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Press your feet into the mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa. So this can be the high push up, low push up, up dog, down dog. Or you can drop to your knees and do our first variations with cobra, child's pose, and then down dog. Right leg, warrior one. Press your feet to close your hips to the front wall. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. Warrior one, left side. Draw the pit of your belly into your spine. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. to the top of the mat, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Squeeze your inner thighs. Forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa. High on your toes, lower. And move to your breath. Right side, warrior one. Plant your feet and then rise. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. Left side, warrior one. Use your breath, move with it. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. Feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa, let's move. Warrior one, right side. Warrior two. Hands to the mat. Vinyasa. Left side. Warrior one. Plant your feet and rise strong. Warrior two. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. Feet 
should have tapped the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Don't allow yourself to go in this chair. Keep your belly in, keep it strong, sit strong. Forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa. Right side, leg up to the sky, bend and open your hip a little, strong arms, straighten the leg, crescent lunge, right leg. Stay high on the back toes, pressing your feet into the earth. Warrior two. Plant your back foot. Hands to the mat. Vinyasa. Left foot to the sky. Bend and open your hip. Keeping the upper body the same. Straighten the leg. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Hands to the mat. Vinyasa. Breathe in, let it go. Feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Open cactus arms, forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa. to the sky, step through to the hands, keep your left foot hand, right hand to the sky, runner's twist. Right hand back to the earth, crescent lunge rise, warrior two. Hands to the mat. Vinyasa. Left heel to the sky. Step it between the hands. Left hand to the sky. Runner's twist. Keeping the back leg straight and strong. Left hand back to the earth, rise crescent. Warrior two. Hands to the mat, vinyasa. Breathe in. Let it go. Feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Breathe in, forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, and vinyasa. Move to your breath. Right 
foot to the sky, bend and open or flip your dog. Gently press the foot down. Back to three-legged dog. Crescent lunge, runner's twist. Hands to the mat, crescent lunge. Hands to prayer, twist to the right. Open your arms. Stay high on the back toes. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Reach the top fingers to the sky. Lengthen the side body. Warrior two, hands to the mat, vinyasa. Left leg to the sky, bend and open. Be careful if you have props nearby. And flip dog if you want. Three-legged dog. Crescent lunge, left leg. Hands to prayer, twist to the left. Open your arms. Crescent lunge. Rise with control, warrior two. Gaze between the fingers. Extended side angle. Reach those fingers. The space between the, the hips and the shoulders should be as long and straight as possible. Warrior two, hands to the mat, vinyasa. Right heel to the sky, swing it through for pigeon. Hips square to the earth. This is where you can reintroduce a prop Put it right under your butt if it's not touching the earth. Use your breath to soften your body. Gently come out, press your palms into the mat, press back down dog. Left foot to the sky, swing it through for traditional pigeon. Keeping the foot flexed, protect the knee.
also support your upper body with the block here. Stay with your breath. Stay with your body. Slowly come out, press back to down dog. High push up. Lower flat to the mat. Feet flat. Hands under your shoulders. By your ribs. Cobra rise. Lower to the mat. Sphinx rise. Forearms flat to the earth. Scoot back so you can see me. Fingers spread across the mat. Draw the belly button into the spine. Release to the mat. Replant your hands by your ribs. Firm up your thighs. Squeeze them. Press up, up dog. Down dog. Step your left foot to the top of the mat. Rotate to a wide leg stretch. Shift your weight over to the left foot, keeping the right foot planted. Shift to the other side. Shift back to the left. Shift back to the right. One more time each side. Come back to the center. Come around the left foot, bring your right foot in. Take a seat. Wide leg, leg stretch for the length of your mat. If you're really far from the ground, you can bring your props back in, support yourself. Keeping your feet flexed. Slowly rise, move your pillows, bring your legs straight forward out in front of the mat. 
Lower flat to the mat. Bring your arms overhead, full body stretch. Point your toes. Bring your knees in, happy baby. Breathe in and let it go. Bring your knees in towards your body. Release your feet. Shavasana. Allow yourself to be supported by the earth. And let go. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll onto your left side using your arm as a pillow. Make your way to a seat as easy as possible. Hands prayer overhead. Bring them to your heart. proud of what you just did for yourself. Thank you for taking that time to connect with yourself, to restore, and to awake your body. Thumbs to Third Eye Center. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed that and feel refreshed and renewed to go on with your day. If you have any questions or comments again about a pose that we did or something that I said, put it below. If you liked, give me a like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you next time on the mat. Bye everybody. Again, peace and love.